Hi, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IV. Today we gotta figure out a way to get out of this tower, so let's get this chest first here. A high potion, yay! Maybe there's a door down here. Yep, that's the ticket. Okay, well, there's only one way to go. Hey, that looks familiar. It's the other side of the Tower of Bebel. What the? There's a treasure in the door? That's right. There is some invisible treasure here. My, my guess would be it's a programming error that was overlooked since it's really hard to notice. I mean, how would you know to look for treasure in a door? Um, the only places I know where this is, that I'm aware of where this happens is like, where movement to another area or another part of the map occurs. So, um, there's never anything really good from these, uh, things, but, you know, there it is. So, um, it's interesting to know that they're there. So, we get another claw of hell for no apparent reason. And, yep, straightforward path here. Now, let's get that chest first. There's a couple new enemies here. Okay, this chest contains another high potion. Well, let's see if there's another way out of here. No new enemies yet. Speak of the devil. Okay, we get a mithril golem here. Uh, obviously, they're, they'll be susceptible to uh, Cecil's uh, ogre axe and uh, Edge's um, fairy claws. So... And, uh, they're not weak to ice like their cousins, so, um, just have Kane jump the one in the back row, and we'll go from there. Let's get that fairy claw out. They're not really tough, just, you know, make sure you use the right weapons. Wow, man, those claws are amazing for Edge. I don't remember them being that good for him, but, eh, so much the better. One other new enemy. Okay, well, that other new enemy was uh, Queen Lamia. Not too different from the regular one, as far as I remember, but I rarely meet up with them, so I don't recall exactly. The enemy's new model airship! Let's get the hell out of here! So, there's nothing on there that says enemy airship, do you? Besides, now they won't attack us because they think that our airship looks like theirs, right? Could this be a trap? I can smell traps a mile away. Ha ha. And they call this the Falcon. Oh, yeah, you mean like that trap that you saw before we dropped down out of the crystal room? Yeah, thanks for noticing that trap for me. Let's hurry and get out of here. We have liftoff, Houston! Yeah. And the airship comes out of the ground. Well, okay, let. Oh, we can't go over lava. Oh, well, it can't be their best airship, because their airships could go over lava. Uh, okay, well, let's um, use the pot of life here while we're at it. I could sure use it. Take a swig. Yay. And let's get out of here and uh, let's head back to the overworld then. Oh. Nope. We can't... Oh, maybe it's from here. Nope. We can't get to the overworld. Oh, yeah. Well, we blocked the passage, but... Man. We've got to figure out how to get out of here. Maybe someone at the castle can help me out. And they all say the same thing. Okay. That's, oh, two new dwarves. They're court ladies that with beards. Uh, I don't think so. 
but the hole to the surface collapsed. Yep, thanks to Sid. He sacrificed him. What? No. No, 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 no. I saw his body vaporized by the blast. Recovering in the medical room. Uh, well, we'll check that out later. Let's see the king about the crystals. Nope. To tell you the truth, we're completely incompetent. Sorry. Break the seal on the cave to the southwest. He's going to do it, but we want to get the crystal first, so... Her necklace... Oh, he hid the key on the necklace. Okay. I thought the necklace was the key. I was like, how are you going to pull that one off? Treasure the future of the world. Yep. Protect the last crystal at all costs. So... Ah, there we go. I was like, where's the necklace? <laughs> Okay, they'll hold off the enemy's main forces, and we'll head to the cave to the southwest. Oh. The sealed cave is near Tamera, where more dwarves live. Okay. Can't fly over lava? Can't that old guy fix it? He was supposed to be dead, but... A rumor... A road to the Phantom World. Oh, we'll have to look out for that. Okay, well... Let's head down to the infirmary. That old man better not be there. There's no way he could survive that. I mean, now, when I open this door, that old man better not be behind it. He couldn't have survived the blast. Au contraire, mon capitaine! He's Damn it! Let me guess. Yang survived too. <laughs> I mean, Sid, I mean, maybe Sid threw the bomb and was blown away by the blast. But I mean, Yang, uh, he, he was in an enclosed room. I mean, there's no way, right? <laughs> oh, man. What a crotchety old man. He doesn't do anything but complain about the food, but he eats like a horse. I don't know if that's supposed to be a compliment, but eh, whatever. You call this food? I've had better crap in prison. <laughs> and he was in prison. He would now. <laughs> we thought you were dead. I thought so too. Who's this old fart? <laughs> Man, Edge has no better manners than Palum. You little bastard. Well, except Palum's get still getting stoned at the moment, but yeah. Selective breeding? Uh, that's what Nazis do, if I recall correctly, but... Eh. Prince of Iblana, yeah, he's really a prince. Bolshevik? I'm not even going to comment on this bickering dialogue here. Shut up! Okay, so what's going on with Golbez? We defeated the emperors, we need to go to the southwest over the lava, but our airship can't get over the lava. Oh. Can't do anything without me and what what? He can walk around just fine? Oh, of course, I was just involved in an explosion. But I have the stamina of an 18-year-old. Yeah, okay. You're a man, aren't you? Put your selective inbreeding to use. <laughs> Take that, Nazis. Sorry if I offended any neo-Nazis who are watching my videos. Okay, and they're, uh... Huh, I, th I thought there was different music for this part. Eh, whatever. And they're just putting a coating of mithril on the airship, I guess. Uh, why that involves tools banging around, I don't know. Now, if they could do that before, or do the work down here, why couldn't they have done that before with the Enterprise? You know, I mean, uh, what? I mean, did Sid bring some extra mithril down here after coating the Enterprise and make a pit stop here for a swig before rescuing us? You know, I mean, it's kind of like with the Death Star, you know, when they first made it, it took them 20 years to make it fully operational, you know, between episodes 3 and 4, right? 
Yet, when they had to rebuild it after episode 4, they did it in less than 5 years, or however many it was between episodes 4 and 6. I mean, certainly a lot less than 20. I mean, how'd they pull that off? Uh, eh, whatever. Anyway, now we don't have to worry about lava. Yay! Sid, oh, he overexerted himself. Well, that's all for this episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy IV. Next time, we'll be exploring the rest of the underworld and finding out how we're going to rescue, or, well, not rescue, but get the crystal. So, that's all for this episode. This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!